All right, for what it do look like here, you guys can't really see it too well because it's over there. But I think they do have my handcuffs. Anyways, I'll let I'll leave you on my camera. They do have them in handcuffs. It looks like. And, and I'm assuming they're arresting him for whatever reason. But I, I, I really, I'm not going to say anything about the police in this bad situation. But it just looks bad. And I feel for the brother. I don't know what he did. I don't know what happened, but it seemed, well, from, from what I saw earlier, they had a light in his face there, and it looked like they were um, testing him for alcohol or whatever, or drugs, whatever. And I guess he failed the test. Let's see if you need help. You need help? Oh, you got it? I hope you ain't going to jail. For the night, I really hope so. I hope they let him go. Oh, they're moving. Okay, so you can see it. Like it's like one. There's one car. I'm moving. And the police station is right across the street. So what I'm trying to figure out is why is it like three cop cars? You can notice some I actually know if it's a DUI, I do know that I will say this honestly. In Jersey, I do notice when it's a DUI, there's usually two or three cop cars. I will say that for anybody. But it's very sad to see it be this way with our people. At least for me, it's really, really sad. One of them just left. One sitting right over there. It's just sad. See, that one's leaving. Officer's in the car. That guy's pulling up. Is that okay? Lights are off. Other cars turning on. Let's see if the other car's on now. They're moving. I really hope they ain't lock them up. See that? Now they're going away. And that's that. That's them two pulling off, and they're going across to the to the station.